been quite a while for an update. I got sick, got a job, all kinds of time consuming stuff. This video will cover the final bits, the Crown Victoria install. I anticipated taking maybe a couple or a few days, but I'll just condense it into one video, make it the final day for the uh, Crown Vic install. So I'll show you where we're at, what we're doing, and uh, what to expect for this last stage. All right, this is the spare engine, if you will. It's the uh, original 390 block, the 360 intake, and the 390 heads. None of which I'm using for the build, but it all came in really handy for mocking things up. Uh, as you can see, I have a rear sump oil pan. That's kind of a beast to find. I had to order it from a, a salvage yard in Portland, Oregon. The uh, FEs that came in Ford trucks that were four-wheel drive all had this rear sump pan. Um, as you can see, the cross member from the Crown Vic front Vic comes right where the front sump would be on a stock style pan. So with the rear sump, you have to also have the uh, dipstick, which you can see is mounted there into the side of the oil pan. and the uh, pickup tube that goes to the rear sump. So I managed to find somebody online that had the entire setup at a salvage yard, gave it to me for about 120 bucks, which is much better than the 300 some dollar racing uh, oil pan. So if you're doing this conversion with an FE motor, which I didn't see much pictures or instructions online with, you need a rear sump pan, and the best place to get it is at a salvage yard on a four wheel drive FE. The front end is in. The last two things we have are motor mounts and steering. So this is kind of a mock-up of what we're doing with the motor mount. We got some, some steel from the steel guy. I forget what, what gauge it is. It's what he recommended for making motor mount. We're going to go down to that pedestal and it's, it's going to be big and thick and simple. Um, Dad engineered this, mocked it up with some cardboard and uh, chopped it up. It's not welded together yet. That's just kind of the mock-up. We're going we're gonna to put a bolt, weld the bolt into the bottom, bolt it up through the pedestal and then bolt it up there, and that will be our motor mount. Haven't seen this done for a Crown Vic front end yet uh, with a Ford FE big block, so we had no real pictures to go off of, so came up with it ourselves. That'll probably be the first thing that we work on for this video. After that, we'll be taking the steering from here up to here uh, with two Borks and Universal joints and a piece of double D steering shaft that finally came in the mail after they lost it the first One time. issue we're just hoping to be really lucky on is the headers because they might interfere with where the steering is or the motor mount, so hopefully that's not an issue. The way this is going to work is these plates will be flush down here. This bolt will have these connections on the bottom up through the pedestal. So on top, it's gonna look like this. We're gonna weld this nut to the plate and then weld the square stock that we fabricate to this plate. Then we'll be able to bolt everything up through the bottom with grade eight hardware and lock washers so that this is bolted down and there's a fixture that hits here bolted to the engine.
No, man. That exhaust has got to go. Alright, so motor mounts pretty much done, and uh, now we're going to put the steering in. Put the steering in, we have to put a header on to see if we can clear the header and if everything is going to jive well on the driver's side. So I've got to go down there and cut the exhaust off. done. The steering's in, clears the headers, motor mount clears the headers, everything is measured up correctly, we didn't fuck it up. I'm gonna call this front end conversion done. So that was a chore, huh? I guess that whole four part thing that I said at the beginning it's a total crock of shit. So if I remember correctly, this is part 12. <laughs> but uh, Crown Vic front suspension, done. So hopefully next week we have the actual engine instead of this piece of shit uh, back from the machine shop so we can start putting it back together. My baby, my baby, you stabbed him so many times. They stopped counting in 500. It was really, really unnecessary, I'm telling you.